Alright, hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I'm doing a class review, or a class guide, on Ninja Class. So, today I'll be showing you guys how to use this class in PvP, and how to use this class just effectively. Okay, so, first on, let's get on to the statistics of the class. Attack and spell power are exactly the same. Hit 98%, haste 18%, critical 22%, evasion 22%. This class gains mana based upon the first strike they land in combat. So if they hit the target before they hit you, you gain a lot of mana in the back, like 100 mana, or 80 to 100 mana instantly. But that's only if you land the first strike in combat. You also can, if you strike an enemy in target in combat, you will get mana back, but this isn't that much. All you do is gain 1 mana for every non-crit and 2 mana for every crit you land. Next one is also if you cast Shadow Burn without the skill Shadow Blade. So if you have your 4 skill, if you use your 4 skill without your 3 skill being active, you gain 20 mana back, so that's very nice. So the rank 4 passives are Elusive Dodge Chance increased by 15% and Incisive Critical Strike Chance increased by 15%. Very, very awesome. First up is, we're going to talk about its auto attack. So its auto attack is slightly faster than your normal auto attack. It does an auto attack every 1.5 seconds. Very awesome. So here we go. Yep, so it does it pretty way more often than most of the other classes that usually have their auto attacks at 2.0. Every 2, two seconds. So your next skill is now called Cross Cut, 15 mana, 2 second cooldown. This makes you do another attack right after you do an auto attack. So it just it's like an extra auto attack technically. This move does 150% base damage of your base damage. So here we go. Very, very strong. And it's on such a low cooldown, so you can keep using it like crazy. It's great. Next skill is called Shadow Blade 25 mana 12 second cooldown. This is based upon your physical and magical damage, but mostly I don't see a, a magic helping this class that much it's very ineffective in my opinion but um what this does is it blinds your enemy for six seconds so here we go blinding them makes them unable to hit you unless they have a skill that is guaranteed to hit they will never be able to hit you no matter what so yeah it's very very strong next skill is called shadow burn five mana six second cooldown physical with magical damage again this does light damage to your enemy, so this, um, the damage on this skill, it's slightly less than your auto attack damage by like 10, like, I believe 10%, but it's not even that much. And what this does is, if the enemy does not have Shadow Blade applied, it will make you regain 20 mana. If Shadow Blade is applied, you will be able to do a 3 second stun. So first, I'll just show you guys the skill and how much it does. So it did 544 crit and very decent. All right, okay, and now I will be showing you guys the three four combo where you can do the stun three and four, and there is the stun. It's very strong, and you can stun twice too, and it's great. Okay, so next on is called Thin Air. 30 mana, 30 second cooldown. What this does is every time you're hit, your dodge and haste will be increased by a, like just a slight amount, but it really adds up. So your dodge gets increased by 3% and your haste gets increased by 5%. This ability lasts 30 seconds, meaning you, can, you can't really cycle this skill. So like once 30 seconds is over, if you click Thin Arrogant, it refreshes it. So what I mean by that, by refresh, is that if you click thin air before it ends and you have like a lot of like let's say you got hit a lot like five six times it's gonna instantly refresh and be like oh you got hit zero times you have to get hit again to get your thing increased so be careful on using this skill don't use it until it fades away to get the maximum like uh, like the maximum performance of this skill so I'm gonna do my skill and hit all of them so I have three guys attacking me Alright, and then you guys will eventually see that I start dodging way more um, often if they hit me. So yeah, very, very strong class on the dodging side. Very nice. And yeah, you guys can just see me dodging for days. It's great. 
Alright, so getting on to the next thing. So I'm going to show you guys a thing about its mana regain. So I'm going to demonstrate the mana regain of where you can regain technically your whole entire mana bar if you're running low. So first off, I'm just going to expend my mana here. Okay, you guys see I have 22 mana. I'm going to hit a target before he hits me. So it's better if you do this on neutral monsters. And boom. Full mana back. It's freaking awesome. That should be a good tip. Alright. So the en I should tell you guys the enhancements for this class before I go on. So the enhancements I'm using that I love to use all the time is full luck and unstable weapons. So unstable... I like to use Blood Letters here, which does 1 to 205 base damage, and it's to me it's the best for this class. But you can also go, what I like to go, is um, 3 Luck, 1 Thief. And the Thief you can put it either, I like to put it either on the weapon or the cave, depending on how much I want to dodge. If I want to dodge a lot, I usually put it on my weapon, like this, so I can dodge more often. But if I don't want to dodge that often, I want to crit more higher, I usually put it on my cape, or just rely on full luck. So yeah, so after the enhancements now, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of this class. This class is more PvP, it's more of a PvP class. This class is very effective in PvP. It has the ability to stun and blind your opponents, and it just has the ability to dish out a lot of damage when they're stunned before they can react to it. Which, making, which makes this class very, very effective. The downside of this class right now, currently, is that it struggles so much in farming, in the farming department. It's very, very weak in soloing bosses. So I can't even, like, the bosses, even the easy bosses that have, like, I don't know, 60,000 HP, you might have struggles fighting it. You might get lucky and kill it, but it's very, very hard with this class. And, um, downside is that this class has no sustain, sadly. Even when you dodge, you don't get HP back like Rogue, you're just, you just dodge, you, you don't get anything back. And it's single target, so that's another downfall. So, I'm gonna get on right to uh, how to use this class in PvP. Because this is where this class actually really shines. So I'm gonna go in um, Doom Arena, of course. So... Okay, so there's no one here. I'm gonna get some people to help me. Okay. One second. Alright, so we're gonna get right on to the how to use this class. So what I like to do is start with your 5 skill. Make sure you get your 5 skill applied, and then what you want to do is blind the target, stun the target with your 4 skill, do a 2 skill. You can do this twice, but what I, if I miss, I usually try and save it for another skill. And just kind of repeat the process. But sometimes I like to get another um, 4 skill applied so I get that extra mana, then I can just stun them. And he should be dead right here. Ooh, I missed. There we go. So that's one of them. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, so... Yeah, that's pretty much how you use the class. You want to start with your 3 skill, you go to your... No, you start with your 5 skill. Then you press 3 skill. Then you press 4 skill to get that stun. Then you want to do your 2 skill for damage. And then after this, if they're really, really low, you want to do your 4 skill to stun them again. But if they're not low, I recommend to wait until your Shadow Blade fades away. Do your 4 skill to get some mana back. Then you do your 3 skill to blind them again. And then you can either stun them with your 4 skill or damage them to finish them off with your 2 skill. So that's pretty much for the guide. Um, so, that's pretty much for this class. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.